I just thought I'd come and have a quick check if the uh, towers were open. And it looks like this floor's open, so um, let's have a little look. All right. Let's check this floor out first. This is the long gallery we're just uh, walking through. So, banqueting halls closed. This, this is the small dining room. It's a bit dark, so you can't see anything. Access is shut off to the next floor, this way. So, we're back through the long gallery. And then this is the drawing room that leads on to the conservatory that we've just come from. Let's go this way. Wonder if we can go upstairs or not. Hmm. Possibly. Let's go up. Okay, next floor. Have a nice view of the lawn from here. So this hasn't been open for a while. This is the west wing we're about to go in. I'm really glad they've opened this up. It's honestly been so many years since this has been opened up. There's oblivion over the back of the trees. So that tower there, that is the tower at the end of the Talbot Gallery. And that's the Talbot Gallery there, just outside this window. There's that tower again, so we're at the next window across now. And the lining across the top there, that's where there would have been a roof before, but it's open to the elements now. So that's the top of the tall but go around. There's an old beat up fireplace. And if we look up, you can actually see where there would have been another floor there. You can see the fireplace there. And um, Original windows up there, by the looks of it. Some of them are a bit broken, obviously. It looks like they've been storing a lot of uh, Scarefest stuff in here. So that's the music room window in front of us, but they've um, covered all that up to stop damage, hopefully. 
and as you can see there's loads of um, scarefest stuff around at the moment. You can see there's a large um, old doorway bricked up there. And if you can see the lines on the wall, that would have been where there was wooden beams on, and that's where sort of um, oak panelling would have been attached to. And if we look up here, when we're walking through to the next room, you can see uh, remaining plaster work. So if we come through the music room here, then this room would have been divided. And this is the North Library now. As you can see, we can see out to the uh, Star Garden out there. So, yeah, so we would be in the North Library now. Remains of an old fireplace. And then the North Library would continue until we came to what's known as the Anti Library here. And then that leads on to the Poets Bay, which is this corner that um, sort of pokes out the corner of the building. There we go. So this was sort of like a little snug room at the corner, just for relaxing or whatever, or reading your books. There we go, you can see outside. And again, this is sort of the wooden framing you can see on the wall, the um, oak panelling and stuff like that would have been um, attached to. So you can see how they sort of um, constructed these rooms. And then, if we continue from here, um, we'd go through um, to what is known as the West Library. So we'll see if this is um, open or not. So this was what was known as the West Library. I think all this stuff on the ceiling was um, part of um, Scarefest scare setup. But again, you can see old plaster work in here, still in place. Okay, I'm just going to turn back here and, uh, and then I'll come back again. Okay, so we're going to leave the North Library again. The West Library that we've just been in is on our right-hand side through that wall. And this was known as the Oak Corridor. And this sort of would have um, terminated at the Talbot Gallery. So this Oak Corridor carries on down here. And if we have a quick look down here, that would have um, turned into something called the Talbot Passage, which would then obviously have led on to the Talbot Gallery. Okay, so this is the Grand Staircase. Well, what would have been the Grand Staircase on our right-hand side here. But obviously that's just a modern, temporary wooden sort of setup now. But yeah, that would have been the Grand Staircase. If we come back down, I believe this would have been the state bedroom. 
So uh, quite a large room, as you can see. Still got loads of um, Scarefest paraphernalia and storage or whatever in here. More original plaster work on it. So yeah, loads of shelving and stuff for storage or whatever. And again, on the far wall, you can see wooden framing to um, sort of put hangings and um, oak panelling and stuff on. And this little bit on the side, I believe this would have been called the state boudoir. And here we are, if you want to get your bearings. If you look over there that, um, and go round the corner on that path, that leads you in front of the house. Yeah, so this would have been the uh, state boudoir. And I'm going to go up to the next floor in a minute. I'll take it now. Okay. If you look through the window in the distance, you can see the house conservatory where you come out of the hex attraction. More storage going on in this little bit here. And that's the Talbot Gallery again, the building that you can see opp opposite us. Okay, so let's go back to uh, where we came from earlier. Okay, so I'm back to what was the uh, grand staircase now. And this bit hasn't been open for uh, many years. So, um, lovely to see this area again. Another old sign there. Right, all right, so we've come up the grand staircase, and if we go this way, I believe this was the Aragon bedroom. As you can see, it's a bit of a shell now. And then next to the Aragon bedroom, this would have been the Aragon boudoir. And this is um, above the state boudoir that we were in not long ago. You can see uh, original sort of window fittings up there and stuff. You can see oblivion through the window, through the trees. We've got a bit of a drop down here. And through this window, that's the uh, top of the toilet gallery. It would have had a roof on originally. There's no roof anymore. And that tower is the tower at the end of the toilet gallery. You can see just that there. Alright, so let's uh, leave here. Go along this corridor. And on the left, we should be able to turn in. Ah, we can't. Uh, that room on the left would have been the chintz bedroom. So that's the corridor we've just come out from. If we go down here. There's more steps here. You can see where we are now. 
We were in that tower on the corner of the building, looking out towards the lawns and the lakes. Right, I think I'm going to go up these steps. See if the roof is open or not. Here we are at the top of them steps there. In that tower. And in these windows there's still a few uh, fragments with the original tracer and stuff. And let's go out to the West Wing roof. Here we are. Still got the big chimneys in the middle. Just going to walk to this corner. It's a nice parapet type thing. And there's a big drop down here if I remember right there. There we go. If I poke my camera over here, we should be able to see the tall but gallery up here. Unfortunately, I've had to end this video quite abruptly because um, apparently the ruins weren't supposed to be open today. So a member of staff came in and cleared everyone out who was in there at the time. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.